My name is Sylvia Anton and the name of my business is The Holistic Garden. And today I'm gonna to show you a powerfully antifungal gut healing soup. I did it the other day for the Union Heritage Festival. It's a lemon curry butternut squash bisque. But what I did the other day was focused on the sea moss gel, which is incredible by itself. But this bisque has all kinds of uh, curries in it, which is loaded with turmeric, and turmeric is a powerful antifungal, antimicrobial, antiviral, antibiotic, analgesic, antiseptic. I mean, it just does it all. And with the coconut milk and garlic, along with that, it targets gut health. That's where 80% of your immune system resides. And not only that, it's a banging good pot of soup and we're in the fall now and this is going to be awesome it's a cream soup and it's going to be awesome by itself as a vegan dish as a vegan main dish with a side of jasmine rice or as a side soup or a side dish alongside a pot roast because we're coming up on hog season so I've got the butternut squash already cut up in this bowl and it's gonna be about four cups. I've also got four carrots and I'm just gonna show you, you're just gonna rough chop this. And I like to chop about the same size as the butternut squash because they have the same, they're about the same hardness and they're gonna cook, it's gonna take them longer to cook. So I want them to cook at the same time so that they get done at the same time and I can puree it. I've got my pot heating up on the stove with some coconut oil in it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really a fun soup to make too. And because you know what, outside of prepping the stuff, prepping the vegetables, you just kind of dump it in there and I'm gonna show you how that's done. Okay, I've had this coconut oil heating up on the stove and to that coconut oil, I'm gonna add all of my spices. This is a nice, conglomeration of spice blends, and I've got it listed in the recipe. Three different types of curries, along with the salt, pepper, and um, I think that's all I've got in it. And it equals three tablespoons, and I'm gonna toast it. So I'm gonna toast the spices on the bottom. Wanna make sure I get all of it out. Get a tool, use a pastry brush for more than just buttering something. This is a good, spice jar, sweeper, coffee, grinder, sweeper. I don't like to waste anything. And then you're just gonna toast that just for a few seconds, like maybe 10 seconds. Can you see that color? Really, really nice. Nice color. And I'm gonna dump in four cups of butternut squash. And that looks like about two cups of carrots. And stir it around to coat all of the vegetables with the spice and oil mixture. And if it looks a little bit dry like it does right now, just add a little bit more coconut oil. So that's gonna about take about 15 minutes to cook down. I'm gonna add two cups of filtered water, put the lid on it, and then we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna tell you how to put the rest of it together. Okay, so I've had the butternut squash and carrots simmering on the stove with all the spices, and I added two cups of water uh, after we left the stove, and it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna cut open a cantaloupe. I got this at the farmer's market, and it smelled so good, it called my name from afar. Look at this. Mm, that is pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so awesome. I may just need to, a half of it because it looks so sweet. So I'm just gonna do this country style because it's all going in the blender and I'm just taking the seeds out. You could take the seeds and toast them if you wanted to get, you know, really impress somebody <laughs> and uh, put them on top of the soup, but I'm not gonna do that today. And this is already cooked. I mean, it's already ready to eat, so of course you're not gonna cook it. I'm just gonna set it on top of, I've already turned the stove off, and I'm just gonna 
put this on top of the soup, put the lid on and get my other ingredients together and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, I've got some garlic, I've got some cut up cantaloupe here and I'm gonna pull about three size, good size garlic cloves out for this soup. You don't have to go crazy. I always just smash them. And then it, the skin just pops right off and you're gonna throw it in there because you're gonna put that in the Vitamix or any food processor that you use, whatever you use, whatever you blend it with. And the heat is gonna finish this up, okay? All right, if you look at this, this is all completely cut, uh, cooked down and it's kind of syrupy and that's just from the butternut squash and the spices and the water. And I'm just gonna put this cantaloupe and garlic on top, put the lid on it and get my blender ready. Okay, so I've got everything cooked down. The garlic is in there, the cantaloupe is in there. The cantaloupe is gonna add just enough sweetness in the background of that butternut squash. Uh, I like my butternut squash things just a little bit sweet and a little bit warm spices, and that's how this comes off. The lemon curry powder really sets this off as far as the taste. The coconut milk plays off of that. It's got a Caribbean feel, but the sea moss gel is the new ingredient that I've added. And um, it's gonna take about eight tablespoons for all of these servings. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It purees up so nicely. And this was the newest ingredient I added. It's an emulsifier and we're gonna show how that looks when I pour it into the cup. Okay, so I've added some of the butternut squash and cantaloupe and some of the syrup, the liquid that was in the bottom, because you're gonna have to do this in batches. And I added some coconut milk, and now I'm gonna add some sea moss gel, and I'm gonna show you how this comes together. And all you have to do is see this one time. Anytime you are using a hot liquid, take that center plastic piece off and cover this up, or you'll have a 911 emergency. it and let me show you what this looks like and how silky this is that served alongside a coconut uh, milk jasmine rice as a vegan meal or alongside a pork dish, like I said earlier, if you're a meat eater like me, that is gonna be excellent. I hope you'll enjoy it.